Oh my god, we're in draft. Let's get in the call. What's up, Sneaky? Yo! What's up, Sneaky? Yo, what's up, dude? Who do we think is going to win between DFM and Cock and Ball Flying Oysters? Uh, I only nah. see the C. We're back to the drawing board with that one. <laughs> <laughs> My chat says C CTBC stands for Cock and Ball Torture. There was CTBC. Like, where is that from? Is that the region? No, no, that's the name of the bank. Where? That's like, there. is it on their logo? Is it the C? Dude, it's like, it's actually like hard to explain, but if you go to their wiki, it's like a Chinese, uh, like play on words. Oh, where I like see it at the, the top of their logo. Oh, they're yeah. not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to hover disabled champs, dumbass. I'm rooting against CFO now. Oh, dude. We're breaking piece of trash. Dude, they, they really Wait, messed so. up, Medios. We have to root for Jimmy, and that's the NA talent once again poached Jimmy by a major region. <gasps> Wait, is Jimmy an American or what? He's like a OS player who played in NA for a little bit. He was on 100 Thieves Academy. You don't remember him? No, I've never seen that name before. I think he was here for like two years. And God he was so damn. impressive in Academy that he managed to get, I think, an eight figure deal from CFO. Get imported. Eight figure. Impressive. <laughs> like a DFM subler. APA men. <laughs> men all caps. <laughs> You're so dumb, Sticky. How did you miss the entire pregame where they talked about this guy, Oppaman? It, but it's He's APA the oldest men. player. Perfect. He's the oldest player who's ever played at Worlds. How old? Uh, 31. Holy oh, shit, that's yes. literally gonna be you if you get to Worlds. Uh, okay, well, I'm booking my flight right now. Holy shit. Holy shit. I'm people running. And he has a kid, and he's two years off of uh, retirement. Is he good? That's he's what I asked my chat. Goated. The unanimous answer is no, he's not good. <laughs> Perfect. You know, that was like probably the most important question. Oh, there's Udipon, bro, climbing into his fucking monitor every year. What? Climbing into his. Like, he's all close? Yeah. Usually he gets crazy close when they he's show like his He's like the girl from the ring. He's like incredibly close to his monitor and he's about to climb through it. I gotta look at it next time. Dude, this guy's actually busting Graven out. First game Worlds. That's oh my god. crazy. Is it gonna That's be... That's not fun. Feasting Cinna? <laughs> uh, yeah. Maokai probably farming, bro. It's Maokai support? Oh my god, it is. Wait. I think I chose Maokai for my flex thing. This could be good for me. I like Nautilus. I'll start with Nautilus here. Wait, I so like how tall are your guys' monitors? Uh, maybe it, like... Mine's got potential to be tall. Yeah. It's still growing. What does that mean? It I says... could make it go higher. <laughs> if you should sit six times the vertical screen size away from it. So if your monitor is 12 inches tall, you should sit six feet away. <clears throat> Dude, uh -huh. no one is sitting six feet away from their monitor. Uh -huh. Like that's just not happening. <laughs> Why? What are you cool? Are you reading videos? The one for grandpas? <laughs> First Good timing song. in fucking look TV. It, look it up. Look it up. No, okay, there he is. Did you see him? Did you see Unipod double up? No, I, I I didn't see it again. Holy shit! Am I blind? Yeah, go back. Go back. I'm not going back, Do bro. It. I'm like Do perfectly it. on time right now. Uh, we don't care. Just go back. You need to see this. You could only Wait, see I'm, his I'm forehead. Seeing I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it now. He's yeah, hella it. close. <laughs> his forehead. <laughs> Wait, holy fuck. CFO's bot lane's already up 20 CS. Wow. Damn, Draven's so strong in lane. Can Sina just not farm against them? Their ADC has only been able to get 4 out of like 25. Wow. 
player from 2021. It feels Wait, like he's, he's missing that one too. Back then, you know, okay, but uh, surely the Senna gets a cannon here. Think of the shy G2 and we see this pick coming through no. at the world. What's Japan. your game time? Nope. Yeah. Wait, dude, this guy's really bad at CSing. <laughs> What's your game you time? You must be way <laughs> fucking ahead of everyone. Are you on Twitch? <laughs> 24, 25, what? 26, <laughs> 27. Are you nah, on Twitch? No, I'm telling like, you, whatever. I skipped the Matrix earlier by 2x again. Like, when I 2x'd it, it went 2x oh. like Super Saiyan mode for 30 seconds straight, bro. Am I g catching up to you, or...? Yeah, yeah catch up, bro. Uh, catch up, 44, uh, 45, oh my 46, God. 47. All right, I'm, I'm going. I'm zooming. 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. All right, I'll be good. I just saw the kill. Where are you? Uh, five minutes, a one, a oh, two, Oh, nice. I'm, I'm it, caught up, and now I'm buffering. <laughs> you want me to pause? Okay. What time are you no, on? No, no, we should, we should just all do it, like, on the brink of buffering. It'll be sick. Just get some freezes. <laughs> What's up? What's up? F 15, what time are you at? 16, 17? Yeah. I'm 18, 19, oh, We're all the same. Perfect. Me just pause for like half a sec so that you're caught up with the you like half a sec. So I'm caught up? Sorry, so you're, you're half a second ahead of us. That sounds like you guys need to catch up. I mean, I'll catch up, I don't care. Wow. That's NA talent Jimmy in right there getting his solo kill mid. Let's go, That's Jimmy. Crazy. Jimmy. Hey. Oh. What are you doing? Killing Ari? Uh oh. Wait. Yeah, dude. Huge spam right there. Absolutely nuke. Ted barely survived that. What the fuck? That was like 100 damage. I mean, dude, it's like it's like early game Ari. Wait, is Ari actually a good champ? I'm not sure about it. She seems kind of bad right now. The only time I see Ari look decent is when they do like the Giga CDR build with Leandri's. Like mm. the Everfrost Ari just looks like it does no damage. Oh. Uh -oh. But how is Gemini just gapping steel this badly? Like I don't get it. Oh, they live. He's everywhere, ganking every lane, and still ahead in CS. Mad uh, pressure I, I have no idea. This guy is actually doing a lot, you're right. I think this region, PCS, their macro is much better than the minor, other minor regions. Like right here, for example, Nautilus open top, he had tempo, he covers the top lane to push, and they're setting up Herald this way. Like, I think not a lot of supports would open up top, but it made sense right there. Open top, open mid. And now DFM is... Oh. And now, DFM is... And now CFO's opening jungle, dude. Damn. Uh, this I macro is pretty crazy, and it looks like an open support. <laughs> Okay. Wow. I like that. I, I said I said macro like you that know, was that, some good movement from yeah. CFO to sprint it down quickly. Mm. Yo, we're winning the game. They literally can't lane bot. Uh, how about we leave Draven bot? We suicide to him top side. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> how did they even get caught there? They had full vision of everything. CFO was on wards and scuttlecrab. They got jumped. I, also, I'm pretty sure that Rumble had first move from top, but he just stood in his lane instead. Yeah, he, he didn't move. Moving. Yeah. Like, I don't know that, if it was that crash, made no sense. though. I think it was just like towards their turret. But he has all he has all of his teammates playing to his lane. Like, if he's not crashing the wave on that timing, he's just being greedy. Probably. What about his swift shoes? Are those fighting boots? Dude, jungle's getting shit on next patch. I'm roll swapping. Do you guys read the patch notes? Uh, not notes. Only heard about the changes from a bit ago. It's it's fucked. So the jungle's not OP anymore. Oh damn, that really blows. Wait, jungle's not the most broken role in the game by far anymore. Uh, Fuck. They're actually gonna have to play and actually mechanically try. 
I think now you're going to have to go dual lane top. <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, they should make jungle into a role where I can just like right click minions for the whole game and then just be able to right click champions and just kill everyone. I mean, fuck it. Or true skill role. I, I think beating up AI for 30 minutes sounds pretty interactive too. Yeah, I think I think that jungle is really skillful. You're actually fighting minions the whole time. You are not yeah, 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 checking yeah. your fucking Discord for honeys the whole game. Wow, two experienced jungler players talking. <laughs> Impressive. And a very experienced AD carry player talking. <laughs> oh my god. Dude. Oh god. Jimmy got the kill. No, oh, you can't kill Jimmy. No! Not Jimmy, dude! Man. Essence Rover Draven? Oh my god. I mean, you said it was good on Lucian. It is pretty Dude, good on Lucian. He's, he's legit flame horizoning Senna. Holy fuck. I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say that. That's bro. crazy. He's up 116 Hold on. farm. Medios, open your mouth. Open your mouth. Tui. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> Did you just sneeze in my mouth? I think he's uh, spitting Yeah, let's go mouth. with that. Let's go with that. I think he was from huh. spit. <laughs> I knew you were going to fucking say that, Medios. So predictable. What? What's the spit from? I mean, I'm just spitting on you. Because you're so predictable. I knew you were going to say that. Wait. You're predictable. Oh. Uh, oh, fuck. Okay, my mouth's open. Let's... Uh, uh, oh. I knew you were going to say that as well. Uh oh. <laughs> what don't you Big know? fight! Where's the Draven cash out? Surely he cashes out on somebody. Oh, oh yep, yeah, GG. I mean, he's dead though. Skill is win trading. That good. Skill is a ah. dirty ass win trader. Just nobody has smite. Nope. What's going on? Nope, no smites. Dude, dude, nobody they don't wants want to it. Finish it. This is crazy. Uh, said, oh, there it is. Is isn't Maokai like Q at least five hundred damage? Is he maxing it? I, I don't think it's 500, but it's, couple, it's a few hundred, maybe three, four hundred. He's not, he's not maxing? Uh, I don't know. What, what uh, no, he, he, he should be maxing it, but I don't think it hits for 500. Oh, I, I don't know. Yo, where are we going here? Where are we going, bro? Oh! Here, be oh. one sec. Shun! Wait, Draven got his cash out and all he bought was a pickaxe? Dude? Yeah. Dude? Bro, if I didn't go Mercs? What? Really? Yeah, he doesn't need him. Huh. It's chill, low CC game. <laughs> his fucking mid laner went Mercs. So what, 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 uh... Dragon, uh, Mythic, uh, it's, it has to be IE, right? But then on three items, he has no life steal. Yeah, Talk about the I mean, it's, it's kind of okay. It's, it's like, still fine. Yeah. Okay. Because so then you kind of want BT as your item, and it's kind of awkward at three, I think. Because you're not going to be oh, okay. like, I think the threshold is like 15 or something for it to start being getting good. Yeah. It only starts scaling up at level 13. Yeah. So then you like want to dip into its scaling already when, by the time you have it. That makes sense. That makes sense. I always feel a bit uncomfortable having no life steal, but it's like a bit of a crutch. Just doing max damage sometimes good. Yeah. And I mean, with, you're guaranteed getting red, which is kind of crazy with the, the share, share buffs and you can get honey fruit. It's kind of all right. Yeah, that makes sense. He has Bloodline and a D-Blade, too. It's not zero life still. Oh, is that Dorn's buff coming in next patch? It's not going to be in for Worlds, obviously, but... You saw that change? No, I didn't see it. What is it? They were, like, changing all Dorn's items to be stronger. Oh, wow, that's so weird. I guess I don't want people to start Longsword as much. Yeah, you can't stack them, was the difference, I guess. No one was doing that shit anyways, except for yeah. Bronze players. Yeah, I mean, they were just preventing it. I mean, they already made Dorns unstackable. Like, the Omni Vamp is already unique before yeah. it's changed. Oh, wow. Dude. I swear DFM's going to be solo damage till Senna's, like, 
Shit. Yeah, I, I had a completely wrong idea. Like, they actually they actually don't have much damage, and, and the damage doesn't scale up to be that good. It's Lethality, Black Leaper, Senna... If Senna's then, like, fed, I think it works, but... Yeah. He's yeah, not fed yet. I mean, they're down 3k, it's... It's like, it's gonna be so hard to kill any of the frontliners. Yeah. Oh. Oh. This could be a pick. This could be a, a big one. Yeah. Okay. There you go. I don't know. I mean, even though the low damage, Draven's actually pretty fucking squish. Yeah, that, that's why I was thinking it's it's gonna be hard. Like Draven's so easy to to one shot, or even even Jace. Like both the both the big carries. But if you kill one of them, I think you will get cleaned up anyways. Like even if you just completely one shot yeah. one of the backliners, I, I think you actually could just lose immediately afterwards. So yeah, and the game's not even gonna go that long. So I don't even know why I'm thinking about scaling. Like look, look at the game. Twenty twenty five minutes. That's gonna be in yeah. yeah, like it's. <laughs> I have like an old school mindset where I'm like thinking like, okay, what happens at like 30, 35 minutes? But it's not important. <laughs> Just can't reach there without there being a significant advantage for someone to yeah. nullify all of the late game scalers. It, I've never seen a Draven use his E to wave clear as much as this guy. It looks weird. Yeah. Why do we even care about this wave here? Your sport we, they, they don't, there's a dragon soul. Yeah, but like, the wave is irrelevant. No one's gonna run it down mid with the wave. Oh, oh! APA man, APA man! He's getting rolled. He's getting rolled. Oh my god! Oh, Did that kill in front of his fucking wife and son? Dude, that's Jimmy, messed up. Let's go, Jimmy. Not the 31 year old bro. Not like this. Why did Rumble roast Aatrox so hard? He's a fucking maw. He ignited him. So what? So what, dude? Dude, yeah. Like, what's your point? Come on, get it. Like, spit it out. Rumble's fucking weird, bro. It's like... To me, it feels like he falls off super hard after, like, level 9 and 1 item. I, I don't think he scales, like, amazing, but... He used to fall off a cliff. I don't think that's the case anymore. I remember asking my team about it too, because I had the same thought as you did. Look at his autos. Look at how much damage he's, he just autoed like four or five times there, and it did like. I don't know. He, like he didn't even. Oh, oh, by the way, like. Yeah. He just did so much damage. Yeah, I mean, he was overheated. Th that's the main thing that made his his scaling like. Okay, better, so what? I think. Overheated? So what? Okay, my, my bad. So what, dude? Oh? Wait. Oh? Wait. Draven almost dead. Pause. Oh, Draven dead. Oh, wait, Senna died. I don't think kill. I don't Yo, think Aatrox Nor spent the kills. It's a penta. It's a penta. I don't think Dude, so, Dude, he's doing it for Let's his wife and child. He's America. doing it for his wife and child. Oh! Wait, where'd he go? Where did he go? Wait, who stole? Oh who stole God. it? Where did Aatrox go? Dude, he had to go fucking drop his kid off. This is fucked. <laughs> he got fucking deleted. Did he even have a body? No, J Jace just evaporated him. <laughs> Legit. What the fuck? Just like that girl in the anime. Huh? Oh, wait, oh, dude. What? Did you just see Sinna? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. That was a... Was that 100-0? At least no, 50 it was like It was like 60. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Jace is balanced, I think, guys. Wait, no, actually, it's just Jimmy. It's it's actually not Jace, it's Jimmy. It's a player, dude. Legit. Player gap. Jace is the only non-virgin champion. He's the only one we've seen had sex on the big screen. <laughs> I closed my eyes during that scene. That was too mature for me. I think Jarvan and Shivana have had sex in the lore. So, also, two less virgins. Uh, not on your, like, fanfic sites, bro. No, it's, it's, in, it's in the game. Cassidy has a daughter. I ever heard of sperm donations? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Graves and TF? 
Who's their son? I don't think they ever fucked, did they? Not in the lore. No, it's not it's, yet. It, it's actually part of the lore, dude. Wait, Jimmy's dead. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Steel stole the kill. That was such a bad steal. <laughs> I played that Rune King game, and Alawi kept trying to fuck Braum. Like, several times there were dialogues between them where Alawi was like, you want to fucking bang in the back alley? Braum was like, no, I'm good. <laughs> Who's Braum dedicated to? I don't know. Protecting the weak, bro. Come on, like, how do you not know the lore, Sneaky? But that's his lover, the weak? He doesn't need a lover, bro. Only like little insecure puny men like <laughs> need that. You need purpose. <laughs> Wait, did you watch Aatrox that fight? He just ran to their whole team, stopwatched, and died. Like he, he legitimately didn't do anything except feed. <laughs> I didn't see I could it. I do that too. <laughs> That's not even that impressive, Minio. So like, I've done that many times before. I still can't believe that imager picture of like graves and alistair and zach is not an imager anymore you should re-upload it <laughs> so dumb <laughs> i don't i don't even know if i have it do you like, have what it if saved it's just gone? i don't think so <laughs> sure. A few Google what searches if it's gone there. like like the world lost something really important <laughs> dude this like is like if the fucking mona lisa went missing <laughs> and just nobody ever took a picture of it <laughs> Oh my Holy god. Holy shit. Uh, I mean, if the game goes uh oh. Oh! Santa is literally a wobbly. Oh! Oh! Okay. They used a lot of shit. On a Maokai yeah, that, support. That's a pretty big commitment. <clears throat> and he's gonna TP back as well. Stena's already at 1.0 this fight. Huh? Look at the top. Holy, he's right. Wait, what did you say? 1.0, Senna. Oh. Rumble's at a 1.4 now. Holy fuck. I have no idea what you're saying. Top middle, top middle. 2.0, Rumble! 2.1! 2! Oh, this damage dealt? Yeah, he's at 2.5 damage. Dude, he's 2.0. Oh. Wait, Wait terrible violence. He, he, he ulted Sedge. No! no! I mean, th this this Steel fellow is absolutely win trading. Now the Elder's gone! Oh my god. It's over. It's Jover. I think he's been tilted all game since he, like, got cheese on his clear. Yeah, that's definitely why. Good, good read on that. Damn. Tilton level one, GG. I don't know, is this end? 20 seconds? Ah, uh, yeah, it's end, probably. Hi, hi, Key. Eh, it's, it's fucking close. They might respawn on Nexus. Why didn't you just Draven ulti for fun? If their tanks have brains, they just walk in instead of hiding. Okay, there you go. Deleted. Now let's delete the Nexus, guys. Oh, okay. Uh, it wasn't that close. <laughs> Yo, somebody tweeted this screenshot of my fucking stream background one time. This is a throwback. Is it, is it the graves? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I love this stream setup, Medios. We're just I... a paper. <laughs> Is this safe to open on stream? Yeah. Like, yeah. Please just yeah. tell me. Okay, it is. <laughs> that, the only one Medios wallpaper is League Porn. <laughs> oh, what do you mean? This is his favorite junglers. Alistair, Zach, and Graves. You can't even see the full picture. Why are you assuming it's porn? <laughs> you're mentally ill, bro. Like, you're I actually am mentally so ill. ill. You what? are so ill. Dude. My bad. <laughs> My bad. My bad. <laughs> I'll be back. I'm gonna go pee. <laughs> How long did you have that for, Medios? <laughs> it's like one day. <laughs> and they fucking screenshot it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
Anyways, back to League of Legends. Whoa, that hook. Thank you, Sneaky. Thank you for reeling it back in. Whoa! Dude, we're two minutes into game and you're already talking about it. Like, you guys are just fucking desperate at this point. That's true. Just sad. I'm a content leech. Zaya and Rakan on the same team? I like uh, I like how CFO found kind of a recipe: tank jungler, rumble, Jace, and they're sticking to it. It's it makes sense. Like this is this is a really really strong combo from LCS as well. This was the fucking season four Samsung comp. I think the thing that's really deadly about it is like. You typically outrange the enemy team, so they have to come into you. But like, you're also really strong in a, in like a brawl. It's 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 not like a normal poke comp where the counter would just be like, oh, just get the fight started, because you know oh. they outrange us. Oh my god, nah, nah. But surely we're getting more than ninth. Yes, the first three waves. Like nah, but why would you need more? That was hard to watch. He didn't. He didn't want it. I really am begging the cameraman to not go back up there again. I'll tell the viewers like what actually happened. I'm, I'm playing. I think it was the finals against Sneaky, and like we put we picked Scion, and I think you're playing Ezreal. I don't remember. I think it was but, Twitch. Oh yeah, yeah, you were playing Twitch. There was like a team fight where afterwards there was a pause, or was there a pause? No, there was no pause. pause. There's no pause. Okay, after the game, then I heard that that we picked a Scion skin that like Sneaky couldn't see, and maybe Lemon too, because Lemon's also colorblind, and so like, we're not allowed to pick Jensen. Oh, okay. Oh, Jensen. Yeah. And like they couldn't see the queue, so we can't pick that skin anymore. And we're like, what the fuck? It was like That's pretty fucked. Like we didn't or some shit. Like we didn't know that. Like it's just like yeah, we luck. had no idea it was invisible to them. Like, Dude, well, so it, it, like way. it's not like it's everywhere. It's like in the mid lane, it's really fucking bad. Like I couldn't tell Cyan's charging his Q, and then when it's fully loaded, I can see it clear. Ooh, oh damn. my god, he's dead. They actually baited him in so fucking hard. Uh oh. Whoops. He just like didn't flash it, right? He just got shit on. Ah, uh, he. I mean, he couldn't. He was knocked up by the combo. Mm, I see. I see. Well, he was rooted by the feathers into the combo. He could have flashed the feathers. Dude, what the fuck? Someone said Dublin's only eight or nine more wrong facts away from ending this story. That is so fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Lemon okay, so like, was it, there was a pause. It, it like wasn't the finals. There was no pause, and I'm pretty sure it wasn't even C9. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this shit happened in ancient history. That was like seven years ago. I don't know if I wasn't that. it like the World Championship finals or something when we were playing each other? Like I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, he was. You were playing that, Israel. That was the year we won Worlds in Ona. <laughs> I don't think get every fact wrong. <laughs> I mean, okay, I did play as one of the games, but it was the last one. Yeah, okay, okay. So I wasn't like 100% wrong, only like 90%. <laughs> Isn't hooking Jarvan kind of dangerous? No, I, I don't think so. I think Jarvan would hate to get hooked. I mean, it kind of depends what else is going on. If his team's close enough, it's fine. Five man ult them, gore drinker everyone, combo out. Yeah, but like, that's assuming you don't get chained by Blitz Maokai. Oh no, that was a... Wait, they're just giving. This is a very slow game. First dragon, or second dragon. 3v3? Oh, it's not even close. Jesus. Boom. Honey. What the fuck? Why did he go so oh, deep? Oh, no, that was Steel, dude. That was Steel's back at it again. Bro, why did he go so You're deep? You're such a Steel hater, bro. Dude, he's... I'm... Nothing against the guy. It's nothing like your hatred for, uh... Who is that player? Uh... Shuan or something? I don't even fucking remember. No! Yudapon, no! Ooh. Yeah, he tried. He tried. He tried. Slater. There you go. Slater, Slater. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
to that bot side tower. I mean, his build was completely I mean, reportable. I mean, Steel's just, like, kind of running it down. Yeah. Making a lot of suspicious plays. Yeah. That was brutal. I am really surprised that Blitz didn't die faster. Oh, because Utapon oh, pulled his feathers he so small fears, early. Yeah. And then that that's why he, he actually got fucked there, because he had to chase forward a little bit more than he wanted to. He actually that e flash was so optimistic. Yeah. He, he would have killed her too. Yeah. If not for what? If he fucking hit it. <laughs> if he like didn't no. get cheese there, <laughs> but I had landed. Kaisa, like dodge out of it. <laughs> yeah, random story time where I don't get the facts wrong this time. <laughs> MSI twenty eighteen with Poe Belter, we scrimmed versus Maple, and he was playing Hex Flash Zoe with early version of Nimbus Cloak. He got the full Nimbus Cloak, like, move speed, basically, every 20 seconds by channeling his Hex Flash, and with, like, Zoe, you get, like, damage. Mm -hmm. It was crazy broken, and Pobalt, too, like... And oh, he's there goes Steel. <laughs> yep. Happens. Wait, is he caught? Is he caught? Uh, oh, dude, you were running Hex Flash on Rakan Double, if I remember that. I saw that, and I was like, whoa. Dude, fucking Alan told me it's good. He also told you his ear support's good. <laughs> it was good, man. It was broken. It was super good on Planet Krypton, I swear. It countered ah. Heimerdinger in lane. Come on, guys. <laughs> hey, guys, I, I'm not trying to come in and make my support feel hella uncomfortable. Like, I want to let him cook a little bit before I just shit on him. <laughs> He just was a cannon again! Stop he's showing the cannon! <laughs> God, His wife and child are in tears right now, dude! Fuck me, that's hard to watch. Do you think as an observer, they like actually think about the like, fuck, should I keep showing him catching waves at turret? Like, this is kind of bad. I, I feel like they have something in like the Nervous. directed camera that just catches Miss Cannon somehow. The observers have never failed to like catch people just randomly missing cannons. What if they just show waves and people just miss cannons? Yeah, maybe people no. just miss cannons. How do how no. do players just miss cannons? I mean, like wow. when I, I've been playing some off roll and it's been I don't know like two weeks ago was the last time I missed a cannon. Holy shit! At some point you just learn how to get them. I think you might just be pro, Medios. Wow, Medius, you're hella good. Let's go into lane together and we'll see how many cannons you get. <laughs> oh. oh, he hit the E. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Wait, he's right there. Is Jason oh, die? Oh. 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 What the fuck is going on? Huh? What's Rumble doing? Poking? Cooking, yeah, he's poking. literally, literally cooking. Did you see that? That that shit was like a tower defense, like from from Warcraft Three, like Wintermall Wars. He tried to make the, you know, one line with like a little thing for them to go through. Mm. Like a maze. A maze. That's the word I'm looking for. Oh my god. This guy's hooks are pretty good. Pretty good. Oh my god. He said, oh, "Holy shit." All right, all right. I, I guess we're DFM's outclassed. I feel like the comps are actually good, DFMs, but they're getting smoked. I think it would be kind of hard to play versus this. Why? Because for one, you're outranged, right? So okay, you're outranged. So you need to engage, but it's so fucking like, scary to engage fought. against Malakai Jace. Like they just got killed. They just getting picked. Jarvis yeah, just I, walking uh, into yeah. Blitz. Uh, I mean, you try and get fine to me. Bro. I think I think it's hard to find an angle to go in. I don't think so. It's like they, they don't have very much actual peel, right? Like they have Kaisa Jace, which are fairly vulnerable to getting jumped on. You have a Blitzcrank. I guess Malkai Wait, can peel decently. Is that a bug? He warded there, and they and the ward saw Rakan, but Rakan couldn't see the ward. Is that a bug? Uh, I don't know. That was weird, right? Like you saw, he he went over, he put the ward down, 
saw yeah, Rakan recalling, then hooked him. But like, if the ward sees him, how come Rakan can't see the ward? Yeah, I I don't know. I mean, it shouldn't work that way. It, it always should work like mutually. But, a lot of people at home it's like bugged up against the terrain, bro, I, I guess. I, I fucking hate how, like, wall vision works. Like, you, you can't actually see into walls if people can go through them at all. Oh, yeah. Like, Kane. You just see the fucking circle. Yeah. Like, he's in the wall, he's directly next to you, but you can't tell. Mm -hmm. I'm obviously, there's a dot, but it doesn't tell you how far he is or anything. Someone's yeah. been smurfed on by Charismite too many times. <laughs> Well, no, I mean, it, it works for, like, skill shots and shit, too. Like, skill shots... I think you can see Zeri, though. I think she's, like, the exception. I don't know why. You can see Bard like, going through the wall. Yeah, yeah I think he's Bard, too. But his makes sense. Bye-bye, Baron. Completely unwinnable for DFM. Completely unwinnable for DFM. Yep. What are you guys doing? It's Why over. are you going melee mode? Them. Kill Maokai, whatever, bro. Depressga. Get out, Arya. Nope, no damage. You can't kill him. Wait. <laughs> oh, he hooked him out of it. That's funny. That was kind of close, but it did not really seem like he could kill there. I mean, I, I, it is... DFM, so kind of a weaker opponent, but CFO is pretty good. Are they are they the second seed from? Uh, it does CS? say number two on the top left. Oh well, okay. I guess I'm just blind. Oh my God, we're initiating. For who? Initiating for who? Deal, bro. Did he just flash in? No, he called in. Ult in on that. Ult in on that. You're a pussy. Like an inch. Fuck, he went back in. Did he Q back. What did I see? I don't know, dude. Teal is fucking lost his mind. God damn. Yep. Something's tilted him this series. Yeah, this is some of the uh, worst jungle gameplay I've seen in a hot minute. I mean, they're just so out of sync with each other. This team. <laughs> Legit, like, zero team plays. Oh! Oh my! I like it. I like it by Shun. Oh, if he hit that, that's a... Oh, it's not a kill. It's not a kill. I think we call GG go next. Series. Yeah, next series. I'm down with that. Who's playing? Oh, it's BDS, I think. I remember reading it. BDS and who? Whale? The fuck is Whale? Who the fuck is Whale? Oh, it's the Vietnamese team. Second seed. They're literally called whales, dude. It's it's got to be one of the worst names, <laughs> up there with unicorns of love. <laughs> uh, you can't put it next to unicorns of love. That's just like hands down the worst name ever. <laughs> Wait, whales is at least like it's just an animal, dude. Like there's sports teams with that kind of names, like dolphins, whatever. Is flying oysters also not one of the worst names ever? It's pretty bad, but it's it's still not it's like bad. unicorns of love is just out of this world bad, like. <laughs> yeah, I kind of agree. <laughs> I've never seen another team name that really comes close. Like, I mean, no, like flying dude, no, 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 stop, 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 shit, like... stop, stop. Flying oysters is is just as bad as unicorns of love. I thought about no, it without like... any bias. Again, no, dude, flying oysters is, is at least there's like a story behind it. Like it's a pun or something in the language. I'm not saying it's a Bro. good name, but it's not as bad as unicorns of love. Mm, I'm pulling this. I'm pulling this. What's a worse team name? Ninjas in pajamas. <laughs> Ninjas in pajamas is pretty bad. That that's like close to unicorns of love, I'd say. Yeah. I don't know. I have like I have like a bit of a uh, nostalgia from those guys. Lemon dogs. I mean, like, I don't hate them as names. They're just goofy is all. I think it, it it feels like if you were trying to make fun of the game, like you were making a mockumentary or something about League, you would make teams have names like that. 
Like, it just feels like you're disrespecting the competition by having a team name that is how I feel about it. Like, the ones we named? Yeah, like Unicorns and Love, Ninjas in Pajamas. I mean, but they're not, like, that goofy. They're just, like, they're not serious fully. You're allowed to not agree with what I'm saying, but that's my opinion. <laughs> Shadow Dogs Unleashed? That's the best name I've heard. Holy. The dogs. This is going to be the fastest fucking stomp. Uh, for who? Team Whales? Whales are going to get fucking poached. What? Yeah, they're going to get faith? hunted for their blubber or whatever. Holy. Mm. Yeah, the, they're very precious whale blubber. Very tasty and uh, coveted resource. Right, what do whales get poached for? Isn't there like illegal whale hunting? Uh, oh, wait, I, I, I do like sharks, that big whale bro. on their jersey, shark, though. It's like shark fin soup, but I don't think whales get poached, do they? Oh, apparently they get poached for a waxy substance originating from the intestine of the sperm whale. Didn't know that. <clears throat> what? Hmm. Dude, people who, like, who, who, like, believe that, like, random animal parts, like, rhino horn will make your dick bigger is, like, it's seriously, like, one of the most crazy things I've heard. Like, how is there still people who believe in that to this day? And, like, it's, like, bear bile and all this, like, crazy shit. Wait. With, like, no scientific backing. What, what, what is the, what is the one that makes your dick bigger? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alleged rhino penis. horns. Rhino horns. Rhino <laughs> horn. Huh, is that, is that something you can buy? Yeah. And you, hey, you have to shove them up your ass. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> it works. It actually works. <laughs> In a way that you were not expecting, it stimulates your prostate, BDS. Yep. <laughs> that can do magical things. It's crazy. I'm glad we're all being so mature this morning. You need to try this shit, bro. Oh my god, they picked Darius. <laughs> Dude, all right. How last is... pick jungle. Just what is about BDS something comp not just no damage? Maybe I'm capping. I, I don't know. It's it's okay damage, I guess. It's double full tanks, but are we calling Darius a full tank? <laughs> no, Ali Rel are full tanks. <laughs> Darius... And what? Darius is also a full tank. I like, said two what? full tanks. <laughs> like what? <laughs> okay, I hate you. What? What? Dude, just, just. Nah, but Team Whale's comp looks like my, my asshole. At least they're gonna end it quick. Wait, why? Really? why what's look wrong good? with their comp? Looks fine. It's a full, it's a, a full well, dive it's, engage comp. You have like nobody to go first. You have Diego with no front line. Like this is gonna be the classic. Right. Like you all just put it around. Someone gets no? one shot. I think everyone can go at the same time. You don't need one first. guy. You're not going right, to get one guide. Let's see it. Lethal Tempo Darius? Yeah. You're fucking vibe oh. off instantly. That's pretty crazy. Dude, eating Conker in a ghost level one with W? Just sprint Is that a misclick? I can't possibly see why you'd want Lethal Tempo on Darius. Just going to beat his ass. He's going to beat him up, bro. It's probably a misclick. <laughs> Chat, anyone know? Does he run I mean, It doesn't seem horrible. Like, in lane, I could see it getting some value, but... I mean, how Conquer could it be better than Conquer? Straight up better, I don't know. That, 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 that's it. Like, is it better than Conquer? And the only, and the answer is, like, if you get 10 auto attacks off, maybe. But... Even when you get, like, 5 auto attacks off, I'm pretty sure Conquer is better. Yeah, I don't know. Oh? Oh, Donk fucking walk, bro. Holy shit. Look how fast that 3 auto trade was, though. Oh my god. Um, what is going on? Um, well, now he's got a health advantage. Whoa! Dude, this is I, actually so similar to like my one of the earliest strats that worked for me in League was playing Singed with Ghost Flash and just running out of the bush and like first time I'd Ghost Fling him, then I'd Flash Fling him. <laughs> 
Bio, Sparta is never going to be able this to was like preseason one, like very yeah. early as a league. I mean, Sparta has people didn't even CS, jungle though. back then. I I'm not going to lie, guys. Like, I don't think Sparta has played against a Darius in like, I mean, maybe in Vietnamese solo queue, the Darius is their popping, but I feel bad for him. Are they going to dive? He's like, oh boy, finally time. I, 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 made, I made it to Worlds. Like, I'm finally can play in the big leagues. And then he's yeah, just like fucking top. plays. Yeah, I, th I think he's. Oh, it's kind of getting covered. It's getting covered. Maybe. They can see him here. They, they have the ward on the red. They know he's not close yet. Here it is. Oh, they whiffed the stun. I don't know. This looks diveable still, but all right. I mean, they, they don't know Viego's not actually camping. They seem like they want to do it. Oh, wait, is oh, it a knight? No! I oh, know. I mean, my only issue with the dive is like Darius doesn't have a ton of like one shot you under turret burst type thing. Yeah. He needs kind of an extended trade to do big damn. Yeah, he needs to chase down. They stared a lot of XP, so Adam's actually down an XP here. Oh, never mind. Not anymore. I think they would need to start it with like Rel's dismounted W or something with the flip. This dude is fucking camping, bro. Oh. oh. Not good, not good. Bro is camping. Dude, this I mean, is just a, a 2v2 lane top. It is, it is. I wonder what League would be like if there was a game with no junglers in it. Probably Utopia. <laughs> He's fucking oh, dead, bro. Nice. Oh, that, that was a really good combo, actually. Like they chained yeah, all those like the, micro stuns. The dismounted flash W into stun into. Wait, I kind of just realized your knight took ignite. Yeah. Huh. That's wow. Fucked up. I didn't even realize I like... when I mentioned it like a minute ago. <sighs> In Miss the Shaker. battle of like the in the battle of like the the dick measuring contests of like top laners not running TP, it just makes it so exciting to watch because like when when a top laner gets down, they're like so fucked. Yeah, without this TP. is fucking curse for Necton. Yeah, like he lost so much off that death now, but he kind of had to go fighting some, otherwise he's gonna get rolled in lane. So like the the player who like starts it off. I mean, is he trolling? Like, did he not have E? He absolutely could have got out there if he had his E. Or, and if he didn't have his E, then locking up was. I think he suicidal. just didn't expect the the flash, the flash like joust. You know, he didn't expect the dismounted flash auto, but he should have. He, he should know. What else would have? Yeah, I don't know. Unlucky. You know, I was playing a lot of Street Fighter Six. Um, wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on. He's fucking dead, bro. He's dead. He's so dead. He was oh gonna get solo killed there, no? God. Probably. Was, it, was he ghost, not just yeah. gonna die solo to the ghost? Yeah. Anyways, I'm playing Street Fighter 6 and like one concept in fighting games that I've never really thought about much in League the same way is called the mental stack, which is like how well you're able to react to situations all depends on like what's what's on your mind. Like what you've been conditioned to think about already in fighting games. And in League, I think it's kind of the same thing. Like um, things like pressure accumulates and like you're starting to think about some stuff, but then your opponent gets like one step ahead, and yeah, you won't you won't be able to like react to stuff perfectly. Nuke is quietly losing his lane mid though, but it doesn't seem to matter too much compared to top. Oh, this guy's like so cocky. He's like constantly walking up. Uh oh. 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 Whoa, wait. I thought you fucked up the E flash. That looked weird. Wait, Renekton just died. Oh my god. Yeah. He has to ulti away, no? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what? No one has ever called Sparta a pussy after this game. <laughs> like, he just keeps walking up. <laughs> what is Adam building? He's rushing some armor item? Freezing oh my top. god, he's freezing. Nah, dude, yeah, this next. is like. This is fucked up. This is some form of terrorism. It is. You saw this part. What happens next? Oh my oh. god. Oh my god. He rips That's his a ass. Kill? <laughs> Jesus. That is so crazy. They can't win that. 
It's not possible. I've run the numbers. Oh, oh but hold eyes. on. The Matrix has been broken. The Matrix has been broken. Bye bye. Guys. Wait, what do you Murakon? Medius, Medius, what do you do? Oh my god, this is disgusting. This is disgusting. This is nah, disgusting. But... <laughs> what the fuck, bro? God damn, bro. This is legit Holy. like the fucking auto-filled player on your team gets up against the Darius <laughs> run trick and just fucking insta loses the game. You're not wrong. I legit had that earlier. Yeah, my, I, my I usually ban Darius literally just top. left top lane. He never went it's back. It's so fucked. I think Renekton should follow suit. This, yeah, this I, 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 I actually think like you cannot play the game like this. You have to do something about this. I think you like either swap the lanes, like you do some crazy shift. Yeah, of course, dude, you literally have to lane swap. There's no other way. Like, I think having your jungler come top here is never going to fucking end well. I was about to ask you, what would you do if your top lane is like, dude, my wave is fucked. I need you top. Like, we have to break this freeze. And then you come How and this happens. Replay, I mean, it's, it's tough because, like, if it's in the, in the game and my top laner is, like, clearly super upset about it, it feels wrong to just be like, nah, fuck you, bro. Like, I can't help you, but... I think for sure, like, you shouldn't go top here as the jungler. You should, like, try to make something happen mid or bot. Holy. Does he die? Does he die? Does he die? No. Yep. No yep, he's dead. way. What the fuck is that? Wait, it had an extra tick? What? Dude, wait. Isn't he dead? Isn't he, like, super dead if, wait, he's, if he, he has conquer? I, wait, I don't get it. Why did he Darius die? Darius passive. No, but, like, I was watching the ticks. It was ticking, like, every fucking second and a half or some shit. And then it, it like faded and did extra damage. Guys, it, it, even in a situation what? though, like wouldn't Conquer do way more damage than Lethal Tempo? So he's like so dead if he had Conquer and not Lethal. I'm not saying that Lethal was, was the wrong choice, just like. Someone just said the end double ticks. Really? It double ticks at the end. Oh, interesting. The fuck? I did not know that. Now they've did not know that. Adam's like, no, you don't, bitch. Nope, you are not getting away. <laughs> you get your croc ass back here, boy. <laughs> this is actually one thing I, I really like about Adam, as I've watched a very limited number of his games, but when he gets ahead, he doesn't just sit in his lane and, like, push into Tier 2 and, like, clear jungle camps. That, that's a very normal thing to do. Like, you just, like, take up their jungle. Like, he actually just goes and, like, gets his team ahead, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What about there? Is he getting like, a yeah, I mean, he's just, he feeding he's Syndra. For Syndra. This dude is just, like, fucking everywhere, no? He pushed bot in, he went mid, got mid Tier 1, then he went top and ganked top. Like, I don't, I don't understand how he has time to do all this shit. I think he's Faker. I think, yeah, he is Faker. And look, Renekton didn't even push the wave bottom because he's scared shitless of uh, Darius being there. Wait, how did he know yeah. which Nico was which? Hold up. Is he cheating? BDS Everyone on BDS said Adam must be so bored. Look at that. They're, look at their yeah. bot side of the map. One KP on Syndra, which just happened. Nothing on bot lane. I'm not going to lie. I would feel bad winning the game. With Adam really? on a team like this, yeah, I would legit feel bad. I'd be like, damn, I just got fucking hard carried. Like, you wouldn't be I'm happy for your teammate popping the fuck off. Um, okay, I'm mostly thinking about it from Nuke's perspective, where he kind of is getting fisted. Of course, I'd be happy to take the win, and I'd be happy for my teammate, but I'd be disappointed in myself that I that I like just got carried. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's 1v3 here. Can he got, die? He's got Sterics. He's got Sterics. Yeah, he, he can die. Ooh! Ooh! Oh my god. It's a Penta. Yo, it's uh -oh. a Balls Penta. Uh -oh. It's a Balls Penta. No, they stole it, bro. Bro. I like the way he played that. Yeah, like tanking the whole that he... team. The fact out. that he had the presence of mind to flash towards his teammates, too, that, that, well, I, I, like, it's a surprising situation. The, the part specifically I liked was that he didn't Q right away, which is what I think the normal response would be. He, like, oh. flashed away and then used his E, which, like, you can confirm E into Q every time. Yeah. So he got, like, a three-man E into a three-man Q to guarantee he heals enough. Yeah. As opposed oh. to if he just did, like, our normal random Q, people could have avoided the heal, and he may have actually died. Oh, he pushed button. Oh.
He had a lot of faith in his Sterex there, and yeah, I mean, he just knows the champ. He knows how much damage he can take, and didn't panic. Bye-bye. I, I think, like, people probably expected LEC 4th seed to be better than VCS 2nd seed, but, like, the way they won is just hella funny. Yeah. Explosion All right, let's see what whipped out top team two. lane. Actually crazy yeah. destroyed. Yeah, I mean, after watching Gam get kind of shit on yesterday, I did not have much hope for this team. Top lane is such a void in the minor regions, I feel like. Bong gets completely owned in, like, you know, against, like, the major region top laners. Uh... Yesterday, VCS, like, I think his name is Kiaya. He was kind of getting owns. Um, but that wasn't against the major region, I shouldn't say, but he just wasn't playing good. What <coughs> What do you even say in, in the locker room afterwards, like, to your top laner? Is it just, just like uh, nobody makes eye contact and... with them and you just, like, don't even address it? No, I think you just open up with, so, like, maybe we just <laughs> should ban Darius next game. <laughs> But like, do it while like not really making eye contact with your top laner, <laughs> and making it like really uncomfortable. You gotta be like, so, uh, do we want to change any change anything in draft this game? <laughs> like, so, like, what counters Darius? What happens next game if they first pick Darius? Do we have any answers at all? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Adam first picked Renekton. The fuck? Weird how BDS is such a high prio on Rel Jungle. Like, I guess it's not 100% jungle yet, but they really like it. Wow, Nuke has missed a lot of CS. Look at it, 14-24. I mean, he's three creeps behind on the wave, though. So, still pretty bad, though. North by northwest. That's a famous movie, right? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, we'll run with it. Why not? Is Shio? Wants to move into the mid lane. Uh, he goes to the upper Glory. west this time. Moves upwards. <laughs> but Nuke has this wave in just the perfect spot. Shio drops a ward out. This is well. dangerous, man. For who? This is dangerous for Shio. Using everything on the crab here. It's stolen away by Glory. Shio might just have to flash. We fighting, boys? We just sticking it in? He Why didn't he flash? He uses to leave, bro. <laughs> that was a little weird. <laughs> And like the, the thing is, his mid's in a horrible condition. So like when you do that drive by, you you kind of like do it if it's gonna change something mid. But like Nuke's actually just completely out of it. He had like no mana. He was lower HP. So like why force? What's even the strength of Talia currently? Her numbers? Like why people considering her OP? Mm, that's a great question. Like, I know, I, like, the rework they did with their Q and shit, but that was, like, a while ago. Mm. Yeah, I'm not really sure. My thought is that it's good against Dash champs, at, but as far as being, her being a good control mage, I, I don't think she is. Yeah, I mean, the that part's been true for a while. Like, when they first did Tilia's rework, I thought she was, like, the most broken champ in the game, because if you just think about her tools, right, like, good sustained damage... Really cucks dash champs. She's got a global, uh, so like she does have a lot going for her, but you know, obviously, she's pretty squishy before level nine. She's not really a champ. Why level nine? Her Q cooldown gets significantly lower as you level mm. it up, and level nine is when you can start like just chaining it. Uh. See. It might have to do with just like what else is being played. Maybe before when she wasn't doing well, like just the matchups weren't good. She also just has the ability to like catch people out and just single handedly win a fight. Like, you know, hit like a W uh, E on a carry or something and just kill him. Good with Chain CC, definitely. Like, if something can set you up. And I think in that case, like, I, I would say Rel, relatively, it does sound pretty good in a fight because. Relatively if... nice. <laughs> that was a good one. Oh, and he's dead. Oh, oh dude, this, is this early game is going a bad. That's why we save Flash, baby. Let's fucking go. Huh. 
fucking dude, Sona is guys. the champ that like mind fucks me the hardest. There are some players who are like, I don't know, master or GM who only play Sona, like 51% win rate, 800 games played. But I yeah. just don't get how they win because I see them in game and they're just so fucking clueless. Sona like, scales super hard. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. she's just so fucking useless. Every enchanter player yeah. has, has no hands, no game knowledge, and two champs in their pool, probably. And it's. <laughs> probably. <laughs> It, it, it's like just disgusting when I see those players high rated. It's not a matter of skill, it's a matter of like willpower to play as many games as possible at a 51 win rate. I just don't see how they even have a 51 win rate. Like, I, surely they should have like a 40% playing the way they are. Like, it's literally some, some of just the worst gameplay ever. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Oh, oh my god. Look at him. Why did Sparta do that? Wait, that was a nasty as ult. But, but this champ does no damage, no? Which one? Wait. Oh my god, Holy Brom is fuck, dead. he's going in! Ah, oh, but he didn't get turned to Braum. Damn, Team Wales. Team Wales just completely ignore Adam. Doesn't matter. Maybe their strat game one. This was like a long term game one. They're like, we're just going to get fucked so unbelievably hard game one that they just like mentally check out of the series. Yeah, yeah. Like, they get so complacent, and then they start realizing that they're too complacent and losing, and they tilt. I'd believe it, bro. We haven't talked much about the draft, but I, I think BDS comp has actually no damage. And that's such a pitfall. I don't, I don't know why people hey, really allow that to Talia, I think. I, I don't I don't truly understand how much she's going to do. I don't think Talia does no... I don't think Talia does damage. She, she might pump, like... Surely that's why people are picking her. She has two abilities that can do damage. Like, her W doesn't do any damage. It literally does zero. And her ulti does zero damage. So, I don't know. I don't see how yeah, she Yeah, but the can... Q is, like, sustained. Yeah, but... I mean, so other it's like champs have four spike. abilities that do damage. <laughs> like, yeah, like Lucian, Four dude. greater than two. Simple math. Lucian W, come on. The digit pumps. The smoother brain things I've heard in a while. <laughs> I mean, dude, think about Braum. He has two abilities that do damage. We're comparing mid laners to mid laners, right, guys? Right, guys? Syndra? Viego only has three abilities that do damage. Azir, Orianna, like. Ori e is a mad pumper. I mean, even legit her passive does damage, bro. Holy. Wait. Oh, he tried to predict the flash. Yeah. Okay. What if he waited for that Renekton stun right there? Holy oh! fuck. Holy. What the fuck? Guys, is, Adam really, is Adam really just going to carry his team I, to the finish line? I think Again? Adam's the best in the game right now. I, I I think Zeus might have came and possessed Adam and took over his mouse and keyboard. I think Adam was actually Zeus the whole time. I just want to say it again. Most top laners who are winning their lane after getting the solo kill would just go back to their lane. They're not going to go mid and like go for a flash play. This guy is different, bro. He built. He might have described the Meteos theory. For real, for real. Like, like Meteos theory means that he like thinks about the game like from like all five perspectives and actually cares about like winning and stuff. Wait. Pretty crazy stuff. Kaisa build. Wait. <laughs> what is Kraken Navori? BF doing. Oh, yeah, no more, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I like this build. Yeah, you're better than the Storm Razor shit? So much Storm better than Storm Razor. Not even, not even remotely close to Kraken. does so much damage, bro. Mm. So much. See, so you don't mind AD, Kaisa. You just thought the Storm Razor was shit. Yeah, I think that okay. if you're trying to kill tanks, why are you building Storm Razor Ginsus? Uh -oh. Why don't you just build this build? Uh oh. Wait, Adam. Adam Smasher? Oh, oh my. That was video game Adam Smasher right there. <laughs> Borked AI stuck in the walls. BDS is actually one drag away from Soul, so they're taking this. They're taking this like. It's a bit of a logical puzzle, actually. If they play around Baron, the enemy team. Gets their first dragon, you get Baron. But like here, they're not gonna get Baron. They're not gonna get it because Kai's is solo. But like, uh, I, I think yeah, BDS okay, doesn't have the comp for the pressure Baron. It, they, they oh, they but don't, here they go. They 
They're gonna try anyways, though. Like, if they had Kaisa, this Baron's just dead in 10 seconds. Okay, I mean, Talia's in a good spot to create some chaos, but it's Kaisa. Kaisa can just join the fight no matter what. There could be a thousand. Oh my. Oh. Pretty decent wall. Wait, Kashante got on a weird spot. Oh, Morel died. Okay. Nah. Right. Oh my god, it's Viego Rel. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh. Wow, BDS actually, uh, yeah. kind of getting shit They on. have no damage, bro. GG. Yeah, that's game. Nah. Wow. I mean, gold wise, they're not too fucked, but they're, they're probably pretty fucked. You they see that so interview fucked. they did? From Lebrov? What'd he say? Well, I didn't watch the whole thing. I just read the headline, of course. But he said, <laughs> I believe okay. G2 could instantly win over all these other teams. Even BDS would win versus Energy, C9, and TL. We kind of saw it today. Even versus the highest seed of NA teams, we have a good chance of beating them on stage. Just kind of mm. stucking themselves off. They're really not wrong, though. So they're getting cocky. I, I don't want to be... A, I'm not trying to be a doomsayer, but the difference between Gold and Guardians and, uh, like, a lot of our top teams is not that big. Like, Energy, C9. Hmm. I think Gold and Guardians is very close to them in skill. And they got fucking stomped. Yeah, they didn't look very close in skill when I was watching. They saw a different game. It's been a long time since I felt like they were in control of this game. I mean, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. I, mean, I hope I'm wrong. I hope I hope Golden Guardians outlier and our, the rest of the teams are like really good. That's actually another thing that I think is so cool from fighting games. There's a really big difference between. Hold on. Crazy shit's happening. Another naked Oh wait, Artemis wait. actually dies instant in the fight. No, he is flash. Oh, but it doesn't Dude, matter. He's kind of out. Nah, but Anyways. Nuke literally did the uh, thing you were. Yeah. Complaining about where he's just he shot a naked W instead of waiting for the Renekton one second later. Yeah. Oh my god, dude! If 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 he if he died there, that's a one K shutdown. Yeah. Like that's that so huge. huge. If he could have gotten that kill. That's the classic, dude. Everybody group in side lane and get flanked. Here it comes again. So they just give this. So I'm not even gonna try for something. Uh, they can't do anything topside. It would be fucked anyways. Anyways, back to my original thought. Uh, in fighting games, like the pro players talk a lot about playing how good you can play against an opponent you don't know. And I never thought about that, but that is like worlds, right? Like, yeah. like Evo yeah. is very much kind of like worlds, where like you start playing against people that you never played against in your entire life, and that is like a test. So like different players and different teams in league are gonna have like very very different results playing against people they don't know. Mm -hmm. um, so I think I think that's. I mean, cool. I would say that's kind of like the. What the fuck? Yo, we we walking. Yeah, I start walking out. I mean, we got a long alt, I guess. Smile. <laughs> I, that's the kind of practice you get in like solo queue, though, right? Mm -hmm. You don't necessarily know who you're playing against if people are on like Smurfs and whatnot. But that yeah. is true. The, the, the kind of like, weird. I guess when people get like meta gamey, they're like, you know, oh, like I know how this guy plays. Like we played each other so many times. Yeah, there's certain players who will excel at downloading their opponents, and and after having played against them a lot of times, that's when like they start playing really good. Um, and so yeah, like when you play it, when you play at Worlds and stuff, like you have you don't have time to download anyone. You just have to be like good off the bat. So that's mm -hmm. the thing you have to worry about. Two stopwatches. That's true. Best of five only, and even then it's barely enough time. Yeah. Yeah. I like hearing these fighting game uh, references in League. I feel like there is a lot you can learn from a fighting game. I think there's a lot to learn from, like, any competitive anything at the highest level. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Crossover. I I've learned a lot about... Uh, like concepts that transfer to League from other stuff. I just never really been into fighting games. Yeah. Not my thing. They're, they're, they are so hard to get into. That's actually why I originally started playing chess. I was like, 
chess is the fucking pinnacle strategy game that's been out for hundreds of years. Like, surely there's something I can learn in this game <laughs> that'll transfer to League. And how'd they go? But how'd it go? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm still dog shit at it, but <laughs> I think there are some stuff like. I'd say probably the biggest takeaway I've learned is like the idea of having multiple threats. Like in chess, a lot of the time it's not about like, you know, having one play that you're like giga setting up for, but it's just like putting your pieces in good positions so that they're very flexible and, you know, you have a lot of threats going on. And then as soon as your opponent doesn't respect one, they get punished hard. You can just sprint at him with one little turd unit. <laughs> yeah. It's like, a, I think jungling has a lot of overlaps like that. Like, say you go for an invade on the enemy's camp or whatnot. It's like, there's a lot of threats going on there. It's like, you know, you can fight the jungler, you can take their camp. If their laners rotate, you can collapse on them. Just being, having a lot of awareness and just understanding all the variables and how each one of them will change what's going on and how to react. Like, that's always been the most fun part about League for me. Yeah. Actually, what you said makes... Oh. No it's scale. gone. It makes sense in the context of like, if you're in a spot in league where you can only do one thing, you, it's probably not going to be successful against a good player because they know you can only, you're only able to do this one thing. Like, but if you're in a position where you have like multiple options, like even the best players will get caught off guard and and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, like the uh, make a play on them. The one I complain about all the time, the grouping bot. It's kind of like that, right? You only have. Like two places you can go, you can go forward into their tower or back up. So as yep. soon as you get flanked and you're cut off, like you actually have nowhere to go. Yeah. That is true. That is true. I am very familiar with getting fucked all going side. Oh. Oh my. Chatham? I feel like he totally, they totally could have just went for him there, but they, he was a fearsome croc. Uh, I think they're they're just fi playing for late game Talia now. Like, actually, the comms is about that. Uh, seems doomed. Yeah, I don't, I don't think Talia is the kind of champ who's just going to, like, hit a certain breakpoint and just 1v9 everyone. Late game Syndra, Kai'Sa. Syndra is actually so fucking insane late game, dude. Yeah. Her early game must really suck ass for her to, like, have not been played in competitive much. I also think she's, fuck, like... Fuck, this champ's insane late. She's just, like, real easy to... to kill, right? She's really vulnerable, so... Some games you don't want to play her at all. I'm not really sure when, though. Like, what champs? Holy shit, this guy's earthing. Uh, wow. That's a lot of SQs. Yeah, but he doesn't do any damage compared to Kai'Sa right now. No. Looks fun, though. Bye-bye, uh, Adam. Adam, no! Adam, no! So fucking sad. Disparage, Adam. Why did the good have to go? In 35 minutes. I'm getting fucking hungry, dude. I want to go get some food. Can they end this game? Sure. What are you gonna get? I'm gonna raid the fridge. Some soup. Gonna mythic raid the fridge. Oh? Oh? What the fuck just happened? Wait, he died. Sparta, Wait, Sparta he died. tried to make a play. Wait, 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 and they he... win. Oh! No normally, when mind. Sparta tries to make a play, it's like not gonna work out. Oh! Wait, they didn't kill. There's like 10 GAs here. Two? Go! Oh. Shoot the Q! Crowny can clutch this. See that flash. Pause, champ. Uh oh. Here's a big. Mean croc. I'm pausing my champ. Oh. Why are they turning to fucking run? Oh. Nautilus should have just suicided there for everyone else to get out. Oh. Wow. Dude. Can he actually get away though? Hit him. Nautilus, just turn and slow him down, dude. You're Shoot not getting him. away. Oh my god. Nautilus Unless... gets out. Medias. You fucking lied to me. Okay. No, he's, he's, he's farming another ulti. Look at him. He's farming an ulti. Why did everyone take the creeps, man? He could have farmed another one. <laughs> yeah, he was so close. And more Qs, bro. They actually all got out, man. That really looked like they were about to fucking throw. Like, they yeah. wanted to badly. Sparta really wanted to, like... He's getting oh, physical. wait. 
Dude, did you see Artemis kind of, or sorry, not Artemis, Glory kind of cucked it? Yeah, yeah, he knocked him out of the abduction. But the way that Team Wales are playing in and out around the Israel, no one's ever in threat of dying. Team Wales, they tried really hard to purchase this win from Riot Games. They wouldn't allow it. BJ walks in to tank for Artemis. They're just dancing together. And then here's Scout of the Week number one. All right. Adam jumps on in here. Pro, like, just couldn't get in range for W. I actually think Ezreal's ulti there fucked him so hard. He he gave a, a, that tiny bit of distance that would have made the difference of getting kills and not. I mean, I'm not. I can't blame him for shooting ulti. Like he had a high chance of hitting at least one guy with it. But like, damn, that sucks. The big ones we saw gave it last time. They're not gonna let that happen again. And nobody has summoners. There's not a flash on the rift. No one's gonna have it up in time either. So it's time to look. Oh, the knockback. Oh. Wait. No. Oh. Oh, no. Rom's dead. Who do have him? I say it's just Where is Taliaman? Gigi. 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 But Talia's. Look, Talia's about to finish. He has to fix bottom. I don't know what you want him to do. Oh, he they, they can't codex. fight there when bottom wave is in such disarray. Oh, uh, true. Like it, though, it's completely broken. Oh, no. nuclear! Edge. No one, no one ever called wow. this guy KDA player. Low W. I, I have, I definitely lose a little bit of respect for players who just sit in their fountain when the game's over. Like you, you should just throw your body at them, for sure, every time. Bro, my stats though. Who cares? My stats. Dude. It just makes you look like a pussy. You gotta give everything to defend your nexus, bro. Man, it would be funny as fuck if BDS lost to Wales. Is is the loser of this eliminated or is there a lower bracket for that? There's a loser's bracket. They just showed it. Well, I saw that there was a bracket. I didn't know who if these teams went to that or not. <laughs> okay, dude. What is Sheo going to play? He's going to have to play a real champ. Maokai, Sejuani, Rel, Poppy, Vi. Wait, there's so many jungle bands. Go Rek'Sai. This is actually a Gragish. nasty Rek'Sai game. It's Gragish, Medius. I see the future. I see the now. Yeah, this. This matchup's kind of fucked for Cinder, isn't it? Lead LeBlanc. One well, one I don't think Lee's laning mid. I think it will be. Bean, bean sin. Bean sin? He's known for his bean sin. Not even kidding. Yep. So let's talk about the, the next couple of minutes of the game, right? Because we've got Herald coming up. I need just queued backwards. Oh my god, that was nasty. Oh my god. That was god. nasty, nasty. That was actually nuts. Dude got fucking Holy. smoked. Legit rolled into a blunt. Jesus. Holy shit. Look, it, it was getting a little quiet for a second. You wanted to talk about the next few minutes. Is Taiwan about to legit game knock game out EU? They did the exact same thing last game. When top side was neutralized, which it Bruh. has been again, <clears throat> they just dominate. And it might not be neutral for long, honestly, because Adam is getting ganked by BJ here. Kick oh. available for BJ. He wants to go for that. Has vision right oh. now. Pulled over the wall. Kicked back. Holy. Team Dude, Wales BDS team is getting their the ass ball. kicked. They kind of are. Yep. Golden Guardians got 2 0 by these guys. They got cheesed by Garen. Like, BDS is hard carried by Adam's ability to solo queue cheese the fuck out of the top laners. This could start running away. This could be feeling fantastic. Yeah, I was going to say, this is going to be really frustrating. I mean, Crowny legit just queued backwards on accident and then Eid, like, obviously every outplay starts with a misplay. But I just have to explain, like, what Crowny's doing is he just expects the Nautilus to aim at him, and he's eing like without even like reacting to it. It is, I don't know. You would only do that if you're nervous as fuck, basically. He did kind of say that in his pre-game interview. Yeah, that he was playing a bit nervous. Yeah, he said he was playing nervous. 
am not he wants to be able to play like he does in scrims. I, I think real yeah. His body language during the interview kind of seemed nervous, too. He was like, you know, doing that thing where you're like kind of like hugging yourself. <laughs> okay, therapist medios on the case. Why, uh, dude, just just go watch it. <laughs> a, a classic case of undiagnosed childhood trauma, I think, with the, how he was holding himself. <laughs> mm. It's a self-soothing behavior. Holy shit, Medias, I didn't know you were into that. No, like, I actually, I can't say anything <laughs> without two dumbasses trying to call me on it and just them being incredibly wrong no, no, on everything. No, no, it's, no. Just, it's crazy. Honestly, what you said made perfect sense. It's I so just, crazy. Give you a hard time. <laughs> like, I, I, what you said makes perfect sense because I used to do that and then St. Vicious would call me out. He's like, Peter, why do you always walk around just holding yourself like that? Because I'm, I'm literally, like, doing this with my arms. Like, I'm just wrapping myself this. like this. I don't know. I don't know why I did that, but St. Vicious got me to kick the habit. God damn. I don't know what the fuck we talked about the whole time, but it's definitely not the game. Wait, what? Adam Smasher? Uh-oh. Adam Oops. Smasher? No flash. Nah. Wow, dude. What the fuck is Team Wales, bro? They they rallied so hard after game one. They're actually playing really well. Oh? Oh, Bomba! No. Oh. Okay. Go in, you pussy. Go in. Brownie? What? I don't know what I'm watching. That was I such a freak flash. He, like, actually is freaking the fuck out, yeah. I guess I don't kind of have vision. Left push. I didn't even see his flash. Wow, two turrets for Zaya. That's pretty good. He eat yeah. on the Blanc, got chained, and flashed out. It was only the Blanc. No one else was near. Mm. He probably didn't want to die. That's true. Adam had like zero respect for what could happen to him there. I mean, they wasted so many ults on him. <laughs> nah, but but B and J actually trolling just as hard, if not harder, with his pathing there. Yeah, that was pretty crazy what he did. Here you go. That was insane, what, hmm. what was going on with Crowny? I don't know. Yeah. I legit think if a player is, like, on the nervous side where they have a hard time, uh, like, getting into scrim mode on stage, they should just, like, you know, t take a shot of vodka or something. Just, like, a little bit, you know? <clears throat> Not so much that it's going to fuck up oh. your play, but just, like, take the edge off. And we're serious. Take the edge off. I like that. I like that. And this is a serious statement, correct? Dude, that's a real thing for, like, public speaking and shit. Like, people do that shit all the time. Yeah, uh, I think maybe competing with, in League at the highest level, you might need all of your cognitive function and reaction time, potentially. <laughs> Dude, I'm not saying you get fucked up. I'm, like, you're not even going to be buzzed. It's just a little bit. It's like a mental thing. Mm. I feel like Artemis has just been outpacing him. Literally for the placebo or what? Uh, it's just a thing. I don't know, man. Okay. I'm just saying, like, if the if the players want to have some margaritas in game, like, that's that's cool with me. <laughs> I mean, got, I don't know if we'll the same, but I did ask an LCS. I was like, is there any rule against just being drunk in game? And they said no. <laughs> mm. I'm. This explains a lot. <laughs> oh, what does it explain? Well, I'm just saying, when I see questionable things, it makes me wonder. That is just disrespectful, man. Glory is having a good time. All for a single Q. Yeah, he got 100 damage out of that. No, he's just saying a little goodbye kiss on the way out. Hello. Adam, you went for the turret again? What happened last time? Wait, Adam just walked up for the turret. And this is the result. <laughs> he got it. What? <laughs> what? What the fuck was that? 
he's a monster. It's yeah. as simple as that. So like someone comes in Discord. I can't. I, I, they're like, yep. wait, wait. Media, right? right? I'm done counting. Wait. <laughs> Shut up, guys. <laughs> I mean, this is pretty good. I like it. Yeah, it's not bad. No, I feel like every friend so group dumb. has some shit like that, though. Like, things people just say. But, like, what makes it funny is the way you use it. Yes, yes, exactly. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Bean is down. Oh! The bounce. So is Syndra. Uh-oh. Wait, Crowny hits these. Does he? He's running. He's spooked. Oh, Adam's up. This was the long con. The f Close Aya cleanse all. Wild dead? What the fuck was that? <laughs> Watch me crock all over him. Hmm, fucking UI was like on a countdown for his corpse to come back up while he was CPing in. This is almost immediately Lee Sin kick. <laughs> but actually, though, like, legit, like, the same spot if the wall was there and they walked up a little bit. You can't use my spot in this map. The the bush and the walls are all gone. I know. Oh my god. Oh, Adam goes crazy. He actually gets out there. Crazy. Huh. Free Baron? Wait. Like, I guess. Free Baron, right? You're watching a fucking replay. The questions that I get raised when I see shit like this is it's like, are people drafting properly this early in a tournament? Because, like, Ezreal looks so fucking average to me. Like, I don't see why yeah. he's getting picked with priority. Like, if BDS just had, you know, the Kaisa or the Zaya, would their games be going way better? Because Artemis is kind of popping off on, like, Zaya Kaisa. Yeah. Yeah. And Crowny, like, he's not, like, inting the series or whatever, but. He's just not that impactful. He, yeah, he's, he's yeah. there. Yeah. Team Wales have. It's not great. pumping. It's not great. A lot of times, I think people can have like wrong reads from scrims, and it doesn't really uh, come into play until there's been like you know enough games. You start seeing win rates, and you're like, wait, this champion is winning every fucking game. Yeah. Or alternatively, this champ that we're first picking is losing every fucking game. I also think like if you if you're gonna play the lane dominant side of the matchup, you should have some sort of plan about how you're gonna do it. Like when people play Draven, it's a pretty extreme example, but like you know you play to Draven. I think with Ezreal, like he wins almost every lane early, so it feels kind of a waste not to do something. Yeah, Adam said. Yeah. I guess this is the other side of the coin of like a player who plays like Adam. He will just int. So wait, what happened to turn Ezreal into a strong laning champ? Because the last I remember when Ezreal was popular, it was like people would always run TP on him because he like needed it to lane. Because he was like shit in lane. People what made him all of a sudden up, good in lane? Leveled up a bit in game knowledge. I realized like you don't need to hit Qs on the champions. You can just hit it on the wave. Uh, and his Q is so low cooldown. That if you do get into an all-in level one or two, like he just does the most DPS of any, you know, champions, I guess, in a front to back. Uh, what else? He doesn't need to start tier anymore. That's a pretty huge one. He can start D blade. Mm, was that like a balance change he got? Like with your mana cost changed? I'm not actually sure what happened, but he doesn't oom anymore as easily as he used to. Mm, Probably yeah. just the presence of mind cookies being strong. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure he got buffs along the way, but... Presence is pretty good. I thought this was going to be the biggest fucking one-sided series ever, especially after the first game. Yeah, just goes to show, like, anything can happen. And, and yeah, I think what you said about draft matters so much. Maybe Golden Guardians was actually just shit. Yeah. Mm, they did play pretty badly. Maybe they were just donkey doo doo. How is Adam tied for highest level in the game? It's kind of crazy. He has a lot of farm. It's still less than Zaya, but oh, less than the 80 carry getting funneled. What a fucking noob. 
He is kind of getting funneled. Adam CS is normal for the current time, and Zaya is not normally. Oh. How many raptors and wolves do you think he's taken this game? Oh, wow. That's a pretty big pick. I mean, Kasante's missing, so he probably took it from him. Mostly, and then some camps. He just took red and raptors. You got both? Nice. This would be unreal if BDS can come back now. We said Wait. They needed a miracle. They needed to get creative and get creative. She I like it. It's the best chance you have. Sometimes you just need to know when to put your foot on the gas. This is like the one time where they're going to have an advantage. 5v4. Wait, what was that we're kick? That was kicking in a that was, that was toward his team. How did Rakan just die? How is Renekton? I mean, it, the result seems wow. okay. Wow, this is... What? There's no, no way this is the not, end. It's not okay. Why did that go so badly for BDS? Oh! Wait. What? Wow, dude, they are, everyone is lost in the sauce here. Yeah. Nah, is. don't flip against the Gragas, bro. Like, that shit is cap. Oh. Yo, it's kind of high. Uh-oh. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> no. Yeah, that Baron kind of That was HP. so troll. What is going on, dude? Dude, everyone is losing their minds. That's Legit. what's happening. I think they thought it was lower, so they're going to try and finish it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait. We flip again? Oh, no. We flip the burger? <gasps> oh, wow, oh, wait, never mind. It's Zaya. She fucking destroys Baron. She does. She does. I'm just surprised spammy. Gragas went to Krugs there. With no vision, I would have been shitting myself just perma planting a Q on Baron. Yeah. Kaisa, I, I'm actually surprised they haven't nerfed Kaisa Zaya's Baron damage yet. Like. They kill that shit way too fucking fast. Yep. But I think it's, but Jin can't it's also, a, shot for good it's damage. also a problem of uh, how strong Nevori is on certain champs. Yeah. Zaya specifically has a crazy like, Nevori gives you the cooldown refund on abilities, like, uh, against champions or minions, right? Like, yep, anything. Yeah. Anything works. Uh, Not turrets. That's weird. It feels like, like, wasn't Shoujin champions only, or... Like when Shojin used to have that effect. I don't know. Seems like making that effect champions only would uh, make sense, but what do I know? I mean, this is the last fight of the game. BDS either comes back here or fucking Wales gets Infernal Soul with 7k gold ahead. Dragon's been started up here. Soul point. For Team Wales. BNJ and Sparta looking for that flank option on the top side. But now the rest of the team regroups. They can't force a fight. They're going front to back. Oh. Like, okay. GG. Desante is just... Nah, dude. The, the, Ezreal has to be a bait pick if this is like him at four items, bro. Uh, you have to snowball. Yep. You have to snowball. It, it's funny because like the first game, the one where Adam was just smurfing his ass off, Crony was playing Ezreal and he was not doing good. And also, Nuke was not doing good mid. I think he was... What was he playing? I already forgot. But he, he was getting Syndra. ran early game. Nico. Right. So, I mean, all three games, he, he's... BDS has been losing mid. Kind of losing bot lane, too, all three games. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I, when I see a Cassante ulti, that's like the legit fucking boosted Cassante ult. You ult one person into the entire team. And he doesn't die, yeah. Yeah, like, that, you should be... Like, yeah, he's ahead, but that was a suicidal ult. No punish. Wow. Ezreal's damage, Ezreal's sucks, damage is ass, so dude. bad. Oh my god. And it's one thing if like a random person on your team's doing this damage, but like the the bottom bitch boy role needs to be your big bumper. <laughs> like you're comparing it against Zaya, Kaisa. Yeah. Oh, I'm definitely with you. Something must be happening in scrims that's making people really feel like strongly differently. Mm -hmm. 
is Artemis, Maximus, Meridius, Decimus, whatever the <laughs> name is in that film. Maybe it's just solo queue. They, they finally get to play it on yeah, zero yeah, ping. Like say, holy shit, album. this feels good. Really oh my god, FBI build detected, FBI build detected. Look at Zaya's items. To, to great effect. 6 what? percent triple. crit, no Lord Doms. Triple condom, That's double so condom. Strong. Yeah, the double condom. <laughs> FBI is absolutely <laughs> famous in in not in scrims in LCS for doing the double condom build. <laughs> he double bags it. I mean, it's it's so situational. Like, how much damage does your AD carry need here? It's not like they have a unkillable Cassante or Orn. Their tankiest is Renekton. in. Yeah, yeah. I, I, and BDS's whole comp is just like they they have to kill Zaya to win. They're not going to front to back. I'm not saying it's bad this game. I'm just saying it's a famous FBI yeah. feature. And now BDS, they want to contest this Baron. Team Wales very much in control for now. Yeah. Oh my god. That would have been a sick kill. If that chain lands, that's the end of LeBrov. Yeah, but now that forces a reset, right? So they can maybe hit the end of LeBrov. LeBrov James. Dude, this is just that point in the game where like the game's been going on too long. People just get lost in the sauce. They're like, yeah, you know, our only play here is flipping it. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I'm sure both teams know the correct macro play. It's just like when you're in this situation. It's something in fighting games that I've learned uh, about called... Uh, Bing? Wait, what's it? This is actually losable, maybe. Uh, I don't think so. Is it? Never mind. Cassante is actually unkillable. Look at this. Look at this. I don't know, man. Cassante makes Sparta look like Zeus. Like, maybe we shouldn't give this champ over. God damn. I actually think support brand would do more damage than Ezreal right now. That this guy tickles. Yeah. yeah. Think you would. Like, is Hydra really the item here? Like, I, uh, why not Bork or something? Like, yeah, it doesn't give CDR, but like, I feel like it would make you at least do damage to people. Hydra or what? I have no idea, bro. Bork. Like Blade of the Rune King or just oh. anything else. Dude, people have been like Hydra kind of ass so long. It might actually be Bis. What Bork? Yeah. Yeah, the item's broken as fuck. Legit, like, no one builds it on him anymore, even though it was, like, Ezreal's best item for so long. Wait, her Necton went 0-3 this series, huh? Damn. Wow, BDS eliminated by Team World of Warcraft. <laughs> that shit is a copyright. I like their jersey, though. I like the big whale on it. <laughs> and they lost to this. Disparage. I think that's enough for me. Now I'll see you guys tomorrow for PSG versus Loud and TBD versus CBD Flying Oyster. Woohoo! GG, I guess. Alright, right. have a good night. Later. GG, yeah, boys. Good night, good night. Bye bye. Peace, peace.